I'm Katie Eiserman, the Associate Athletic Director for the K Fund and the Sport Administrator for the Volleyball Team. On behalf of all of Kentucky Volleyball, I wanted to take a moment to say thank you to all of our female employees, coaches, and staff around the department. At UK Athletics, we have over 150 female staff members who are from all different backgrounds who each have different aspirations. It is a powerful group and are able to make a direct impact on our athletes and help them guide through their careers both on and off the court. Thanks for being a part of our team. Go Cats! You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. All right, welcome back to BBN Tonight, and now time for a very special guest. <laughs> Coach Kyra LZ. Coach LZ, you're entering year number two at the helm of this program. What are your goals entering season two? You know, it has been a fun ride, but, you know, just to be more consistent. We have a clear vision in what we're trying to achieve. And obviously, we're trying to be the best team that we can be. And we have big, go lofty goals uh, to achieve, but we have to do it every day in practice consistently. You just mentioned it, practice. <laughs> it just got started a few days ago. What do the first couple of ones look like? Today was actually practice number one, our official 20-hour week um, and competition. Uh, we are going to compete. We have a winner's chart. And trust me, they're all trying to win. So it's great to have a competitive team. We make each other uh, better. And we just set our identity, uh, defense, hustle plays, uh, a toughness. And obviously, we want to play extremely up-tempo. So we are a fun brand of basketball to watch. Speaking of watching, Kentucky's <laughs> TV schedule was just released. Four nationally televised games, starting with Louisville at the Jimmy V Classic in December. How big is that for that rivalry game to get the national exposure? Well, anytime you're on national television, that's great exposure for our program. You know, we looked at the schedule, and we just said we have to take it one game um, at a time. It is going to be a grind, so just sit back, enjoy the journey, but the preparation starts in practice. Uh, it started over the summer. We put in the work, team chemistry, uh, making sure we're practicing hard, developing the habits uh, that we need to be prepared uh, for the season. I am so excited about this team. Um, this is a special crew. Now, I'm like today years old that I just <laughs> found out this news, and it's mind-boggling to me. It came out on Wednesday that women's college basketball can now use the March Madness branding to create a more equal playing field. I, I mean, that blows my mind. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure it blows a lot of people's mind, but you know what? We will take it. Um, that's a step uh, forward, moving in the right direction. Um, so kudos to uh, women's basketball. We have an opportunity to make this time special for women's basketball, and so we need to continue to use the exposure to our benefit. The last time we talked, you had high praise for freshman Jada Walker. You said she had barely moved in, and she was already asking for her playbook. How has she adjusted since she's been here? She still is enthusiastic. She is tough, tough, tough. I mean, she really is a coach's dream. There's something to be said about a coach's kid. Um, you know, she plays hard. She is the lone freshman. And one thing about her, she does not back down. She is ready to play. She came here to compete. She came here to win. Um, and the Kentucky fans are going to fall in love with her. Big Blue Madness just about two weeks away. I know everybody loves that. Uh, how are the dance moves coming along? You're going to give us a preview, anything? Yeah, I know. Everyone keeps asking <laughs> me about these dance moves. Let me just say it here. Coach Mitchell, that was his thing. It, it, it came with him. It will leave with him. No. Now we might do something different. But the dancing, it came, and now it's gone. So that everybody can just get that out of their mind. Um, I'm sure we'll have a great show to put on, though. Maybe no, you can, no like, singing or anything, right? You're going to ride it on a motorcycle, be dropped from the ceiling. We're expecting big things. Come yeah, now, that might be something I can do. Drop me from the ceiling. Yeah, from the top rungs. We'll keep you on the edge of your seat. <laughs> We're excited. Ryan Howard has accomplished so much in her time at Kentucky. What's left for her to get done in this last year? You know, Ryan's playing uh, exceptional basketball right now. But what I love about her um, right now, she's playing at a great pace. Uh, she has a chip on her shoulders. Uh, she has goals that she wants to achieve uh, with this team and individually. Uh, but she's really stepped out of her comfort zone uh, this year and has stepped into a leadership role and is leading vocally. But I love that she is challenging everyone in practice to be their best. 
All right, in all, UK returned 70% of its scoring, three-pointers made, assist, while it brings back 64% of its rebounding, 60% of its steals. How does that sound to you? It sounds great to me. <laughs> um, like I said, this team is really special, but they're willing to put in the work. Um, we're taking charges in practice, the competition, um, but I love that they're willing to work. Um, and that's one thing that we were missing consistently last year that I think uh, will help move this program forward. Blair Green was recently elected to the SEC Leadership Council. What exactly does she bring intangible wise to the team? Blair Green is an epitome of what a Kentucky women's basketball player should be. Uh, she sets the standard as far as working hard, uh, community service, academics, leadership, coachable. She's playing with so much confidence this year. Uh, we had a one-on-one -on -one meeting last week, and she was like, I just want to have fun, coach. And I just told her, don't worry about the outcome. Your work has put you in position to be successful. Um, so I want her just to sit back, have fun on the court, and I think you'll see a different Blair Green this year. I was over at the Craft Center recently, and you've got a great coaching staff in all, but – I did get the chance to see Coach uh, Gestencores, and she had a big smile on her face walking around. What has she brought to the program this spring? Yes, I am blessed for an amazing coaching staff. Um, so Coach Naya Butts, Coach Amber <laughs> Smith, Coach Gail Gestencores has been amazing. Obviously, she's a Hall of Famer. So to have two Hall of Famers on the staff, I don't know how I got so uh, <laughs> blessed and lucky, but I'll take it. Um, but, you know, she brings great knowledge and just a different perspective. Um, so she has come in, really helped me offensively, but also just organizing practice. Um, and she has the perfect temperament to balance out the staff. Coach LZ, thank you so much. We will see you at Big Blue Madness, hopefully with your dancing shoes on. <laughs> well, or jumping out of the ceiling. One of those. <laughs> I'll see you at Big Blue Madness. All right. Thanks, Coach LZ. Stay right there. Yep. We'll have more BBN tonight after this.